listen, it's possible for you to carry so much power back to heaven. You know, Jacob, uh, what's his name? Joshua conquered 31 kingdoms. That's not a joke. And he thought he had done so much. And God told him, look at you. The land is vast. There is so much to do. You have not begun. That is a man who you will say has achieved so much. But as far as ordination was concerned, he had not even scratched. A man who conquered 31 kings and 31 kingdoms. God said there is much more to do. So, for a man who has done that much, to be told that there is much to do. How about the one who has not conquered one kingdom? So, many return back to Zion with too much power in their spirit. Look at the miracles that Elisha, his life commanded. But yet he carried so much power to the grave that when his body decayed, a dead body was placed in his tomb and the moment the body touched his bone, the person came back to life. Now, this is a man that has done so much exploit in ministry, conquered kingdoms, worked miracles, operated some of the most volatile dimensions of the prophetic. He still carried so much power to the grave. And some of us are here, we've not done one of the things he did. Can you imagine how much power is in your spirit? The essence of this conference is to help you discover who you are in God and to stir you up. So that you give expression to all the powers locked up in your spirit. You will not go to the grave with any power. You will release all of them on the face of the earth. And even the ones you want to carry, there will be people who will come after you and collect it by force. Because Elijah wanted to take mantles to heaven. Elijah said it will never happen. They don't need it there. It is here that we need it. Give me a double measure, a double portion of what you carry. He said, you have asked the difficulty. And my question is, oh God, you are going to heaven. What do you need it for? He said, if you see me as I'm taking, you have it. Is that all? I will see you. And the man went from one kingdom to another kingdom through four cities. The Elisha kept following. When the sons of the prophets wanted to distract him and say, oh, we heard your master will be taking. I know, that's not news. Don't distract me. He kept his focus. Elisha came, parted the Jordan. You know, there was too much power, residual power, that there was no ministry again. You know how many people God parted the river for? Over four million people. That was the number God parted the river for. Elijah showed up and took his garment and struck the river without prayer and walked. That's to tell you, there's too much power remaining. Ministry is over. What do I do with this? And Elisha said, you go nowhere with it. Elisha followed him. When the hour came, Suddenly, see the distraction that even came from heaven. It was a well wind that should carry him, but a chariot of fire came first. So if the guy was distracted by the chariot, he would have missed it. But he looked through the chariot, looked into the well wind, and shouted, My father, my father, and the horsemen, and the chariot, thereof, the mantle fell. And he caught it, and stood, and became the chief of the prophets. I prophesy over someone. You will not lose any power. And you will release every power in your vessel before you live here. Somebody shout! Glory to God. The good news tonight is that you are not here to even catch power. There is enough in your spirit. <laughs> because he said, not many days from now, you shall receive the Holy Ghost and power. And you shall be witnesses unto me. There is power already in your spirit. What I'm teaching you tonight is to help you release that power. You carry too much already in your spirit. And you will not leave this auditorium until that power begins to flow from you. Some of you, as you are yet going home, you will cast out devils. Some of you, as you are yet going home, you will be changing things. You will call your friends. Did you tell me you were in the hospital last week? What was the problem? You have a tumor in the breast? I command it to dematerialize. Did you say your ears couldn't hear? In the name of Jesus, I command ears to pop open. You will do wonders tonight. In the name of Jesus. <laughs>